Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Uh, today I'm going to give you a little tour of a base that I built on the uh, Styx maps um, in the Great River Valley, I think they call it, or the Great Great River um, area. It's uh, kind of, let's see here, I'll show you on the map where this is. Um, I built the base right in the G10 area. There's a really high pinnacle rock there. Um, and um, and then also built some bridges across to get to either side of the, the valley, which is kind of neat. Um, so yeah, so the, just give you a little tour of this. So uh, here's a view from the one ridge side and uh, you can see I've got a, a bridge that basically comes from this side on the west, goes over the valley and then heads up to the rock pinnacle over there. That's where the base is. And then another bridge that goes over to the other side um, that gives you access to the enclosed wood area. Uh, beauty of this, uh, the bridges obviously, is that um, you get access to this side here where there's a, a number of mines. Uh, if you look at the map up in this area, F9 area, um, which is really good. Otherwise, you'd have to go all the way down and around to get up into this area. And then also gives you um, access to mines down in what, what we call the area. It's called the enclosed wood, which is I-11, J-11. Um, you can just basically just walk right across this other side here. You can see the bridge on the other side there and it gets you into that valley. So um, this is a, a build that's not for the faint of heart if you don't like heights. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> quite a challenge to build this uh, across this valley and it's, it's a little bit of a white hot mess because I had to dip down. You got only about 14 stories that the concrete beams can, can support. So I had to actually go down to all the way down into this level here, right to this point here, um, because that's about as high as I could build the bridge. Um, you know, of course, and once you get closer to the, the rock walls, you can you can go up a little bit more because you can angle your builds off of there. And if you look at it from the side, I'm going to tour it over this way. You can see what I did um, to get this bridge built all the way cross yeah and it's it's not pretty but it's it's functional and um, kind of does the job and it was kind of fun trying to build this thing from an engineering perspective uh, that bridge looks a little bit better going over there but this one is like I wish I could could have made it straight across it would have been looked a lot better but um, there you go height limitations and all the other thing I ran into a problem with was uh, running the water pump uh, the distance you can see the pump is down kind of down in the in the river there and originally I had the um, the electrical and the water pumps going up the side of the mountain and up to the top but I kept running into problems with that and so I ended up actually running it along the uh, you can see it there running along the stairs and then down the support structure to get to the pump and now what I get, I believe, is the, um, oh, there's Mr. Bear down there. Um, I get the pump, it looks like it doesn't have any power if you go up to it. Um, but if you go up to the top, you'll see that the uh, all the devices that rely on the water network uh, seem to be working. So I'm going to leave it as is. And uh, I've got a couple mods running, if you're wondering. Uh, one of them is a nice weather mod. That's why you don't see any forecast up here in the right hand uh, top right-hand corner. And I'm also running a mod that doesn't allow me to take fall damage if I fall, because I've fallen a lot trying to build this thing. I can do it, you know, without mods, but but it's it's more of a pain in the ass. And usually I just like to build and not worry about those kinds of things. So if we if we jump down to our, for example, this is kind of fun um, to jump down to our pump, and we and of course I take no fall damage, which is kind of nice. Uh, when I go down to the pump, though, oh, today it's, it's looking like it's actually working. Um, I think it's a server issue. I'm not running on the server right now. That's why it's a little bit chunky as well. Uh, the frame rates drop a little bit more if you're not running on the server mode. Uh, but it seems to actually be showing working properly, so it must be a server app problem. That the uh... Now you wonder, how do you get back up there? Um, well... I'm also got another mod running that uh, is the teleporter. If you've ever seen this thing, it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, that gets me 
back up to the top. And voila, I'm in the building. Very handy. Um, yeah, so this is the inside of the building. It's round. I think you, if you've followed any of my other videos, you would have seen uh, sort of how to build these round structures. Uh, and I like to switch it up a little bit. Uh, this one, I'm keeping concrete for roof and um, roof lines. And then basically the walls change to glass and um, with some beams to accent. Kept the wooden doors because I like the wooden doors. I don't like glass doors. Um, and if you kind of take a look at this from roundabout view, actually looks pretty good. I like the look. Raised up the um, fireplace a little bit just to give it a bit more prominence. Uh, but there's <laughs> there's the bridge that goes across, a crazy bridge. And this uh, is the bridge that goes out over to the enclosed wood area. If you look closely over here, i got my generator just embedded in a nice little uh, enclosure down below. Uh, but it works pretty good. Definitely a fun build. Anyways, thanks for watching.